What's up everybody? I kind of hit a wall in Tereba with the My Hero Academia figures, so I switched over to Sumiko Gurashi. They got a couple of really cool plushes, especially this line of macarons. There's four in the set and I'm almost done collecting all of them, so let's take a look at the first win now. Thank you for watching. Alright, here's my first play of these really awesome macaron plushes. They're Sumiko Gurashi, and they got them in this setup right here that you see in Tereba all the time. The sticky bars. So I'm going to play the back one. I'm going to go for the back plush first. I had seen it one, and I knew it was possible. I knew there was some strength to the catcher, so I'm going to try to pull it over. No go. First play. I actually stabbed too much. I needed to go a little further back to just grab that edge. I know you can only see one angle of this camera, but that's what I'm going to try one more time. Try to grab that back edge. First two plays, just kind of trying the machine out, and really didn't get much out of it. So... These are just practice. These are two practices right here. And I think the problem is the angle of the plush. It needs to be flatter like the white one is. But I was going to wait till it got repositioned. I think this one ended up getting one. And I just waited for it to be reset. So here we go. The white one got one. Obviously got changed. And the back one's a little flatter. So this is where I'm going to get in here. I'm going to try to get this one. It's fully set. So I'm going to try to use the tactics that the person in front of me, I watched win this exact plush. It's nothing different. you got to win this same plush. It's not like they put a different one in there. These plushes are shrink-wrapped, and they just use the exact same prize every time for this game. So my first play, what I saw done was actually by the left claw. I saw the most progress being done by the left claw, so that's what I'm going to try. Again, I'm hoping, beyond all hope, even though the other two tries when I went for the left claw on the back... It didn't really work. But notice this plush is a little flatter. It's flatter than the other one, so the corners are going to be easily grabbed. Like that. There's some progress. My very first progress on this one. And it's going to keep me in the game. It's going to keep me playing. So we're going to check this out right here. This angle of the plush is going to make it super difficult, guys, for it to be grabbed. The flatter it is, the easier the corners are going to be grabbed. The catcher's going to be able to hook under something. But when it's at this angle the shovels just slide right off. So that's what's going to end up happening again and again. You're going to see I'm going to waste plays because I'm not going for the best edges. Here we go. This is angled, so I'm going for the back. Probably should stab the top down and flatten the plush out first, but no, I want to waste plays, and that's what I'm going to do. Really a learning experience on this one. This is my first big plush that I want out of the sticky bars, so I really had to learn the mechanics of what they're going to do, how far you can move, and which angles you're going to use, which edges you're going to really pick up. So I'm going to go front. I'm going to go front edge this time, right claw around that very front corner of the plush, and just beyond the back bars. Though, what happened right there was it pushed it down with the catcher. Check this out. That's before the play, and it has that angle, and this is after. And you're going to be able to see that it definitely flattened it. There it is, with the angle, that little movement of only a few degrees is going to make it possible for me to grab one of the edges now. I know it doesn't seem like it's enough, but it is. When you have the plushes at a rakish angle, it's just not easy to get any of the edges. So right here, I do like to try different things. Like right here, I tried the back, I tried the front, now I'm going to try that left edge that's over the middle of the bars. And lo and behold, it kind of worked. It slightly moved it, but honestly not enough. And I think right here I kind of got discouraged and I relinquished my play. So somebody else played it and actually jumped it forward a little bit. They helped me out and I watched it. I watched them play it and they kind of got discouraged after a while too. They only moved it a little bit to the left and a little down. You could tell they did do a little bit of progress. They definitely helped out. Watched them and they got discouraged as well and just left. So I picked it up right here. This is my play, and we're getting close now. Now it's getting close. Look at how much of the plush is below the bar, and even more than you think. If you could see it from the different angle, it's definitely below that bar. Here we go. I'm going that edge, and it worked, guys. The best progress so far. It pulled the plush up with the left claw, and then it just dove the right edge of it underneath those bars. The best progress yet, and now I smell blood in the water. Now I know it's possible to be one. So I'm going to go with the tactics that I know and I have learned. And I know that I don't do the same thing too many times. I want to change it up. And yeah, that got some lift, 
And yes, I might try it again, but maybe only one or two times. So let's do that one more time. Let's grab that top left edge and let's see if we can get some progress. I mean, it was the biggest jump before. You think it might work again, but angles always change. Didn't really get as much of a pull that time. Gonna try something new, definitely. I know I either need to go left claw in the back and rake over that edge, or right claw in the front, just beyond the front bar and rake that edge over. There's also a stab. There's also a stab technique that could be used on the very top edge, which I think is gonna come into play at some point. But this one, I'm going front edge. I went a little far right. I'll tell you what, I shouldn't have went that far right. I needed more play on that right claw to rake it over. And look at that, it missed. The center of the catcher is right on the point, and it just didn't get any pull with the right claw. So it was really a waste of a play. So I'm going to try something different next time. So I'm going with the stab. Now's where the stab's going to come into play. Really far left, a lot further than you think. Look at where the head of the catcher is. It looks like it's far right of the plush, but when it heads over there and opens up, it opens up pretty wide and gets a stab on that point. Nothing. Absolutely no progress. Maybe pushed it down just a little bit, but might have wedged it too, a little more than I wanted it. So I know I'm going to have to try something different. That didn't work. Either I'm going to have to try to pull the top edge or go for the back. And this is where I'm going to go for the back. Never get stuck on the same play, guys. You try it once, you try it twice. But on your third play, go for something else. Try a different technique. You know, don't just dump the same play and hope it's going to work. There we go. That looks pretty good. Although, you could notice the left claw until the end didn't get down that far. So, I wish I had the other angle so we could see exactly what happened. We don't. These replays only have one angle. And I haven't figured out how to do the other one yet. Sue me. We're going to see on this play though. Okay, so we're going to use this bar right here as reference. For this play and three plays before this that's three plays before which is a little further right than this play right here check that out it's only the difference of maybe an inch guys and that difference is going to make the world of difference in grabbing one of the edges the front edge is open now to be grabbed only because i'm slightly further left than i was before three plays before it was maybe two inches further to the right and there you go it was what i needed to grab with that right claw. It wouldn't have been able to grab it beforehand. That right claw would have been two inches further to the right and never grabbed that corner. That is the progress I needed, guys. It freed up a little bit of the pressure of the plush in between the bars and it completely threw it to the left-hand side. Now it's open season. So I gotta try something new here. I'm not thinking that the same thing's gonna work twice in a row, so I'm not gonna go right claw. I'm going left claw by the top edge. I'm going to try to pull it over, and maybe I'll be able to shimmy the plush a little bit kind of through the bars, slowly but surely, with stabs and pulls. Didn't really work. Didn't get the progress that I needed. So I'm going to try something different, guys. I think I'm going back to the front edge on this one. I know that the left claw on the top edge pull didn't work, and neither did the left claw on the back edge work. So I'm going the front. Got to do something different with the right claw. Hopefully get a little pull, and it did. By the left claw as well. Both of them got some pull. Got that thing pretty high over the bars, and when it threw it down, there was just so much shake, so much movement, that watch, the plush just shimmied its way. Back and forth, back and forth. Little vibration, little movements, right through those bars. First macaron plush I wanted this set. There's four of them, and I only need one more to go to collect the full set. Well, that was a decent win. Really big plush, and surprised that I was able to get it in the prize shoot, even though I left the queue and came back after somebody else had played. It just goes to show that some studying on the setups really goes a long way. Big shout out to the supporter who got the Burt and Ernie from my eBay store. You guys are keeping these videos and videos like it coming. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. If you want to help support the channel and buy some of the prizes, check in the description for the link to the eBay. If you enjoyed this one, give it a like and a comment. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to the channel, have a wonderful day, and be well. Peace.